Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work on our pull strength. Straight away I am going to start with the greatest stretch. 5 repetitions on each side to unlock my entire body's mobility before I start working out. Every time I mention make sure you get your 5 repetitions is bare minimum. If you want you can do it up to 10 repetitions. It's absolutely your choice. But minimum 5 repetitions should be good enough with 5 to 6 seconds hold that's actually 5 seconds hold is more than sufficient just hold on at every stretch position and that should be fine you can choose to do this particular exercise after waking up and before going to sleep also if you feel a little bit of tightness in your entire body a perfect start for the day and a perfect end for the day but yes 5 repetitions matter straight away once done with these I moved into my deep squat just push your glutes as far behind as possible and then once your hamstring is completely stretched then slowly start bending your knees to go into a deep squat once in deep squat stay there for about 5 to 10 seconds just feeling the stretch in your inner thighs and your glutes working hard to make sure you stay stable a bit of ankle movement and that's it we are done straight away we are going to start with a warm up for our deadlifts which are going which is going to be our first exercise for the warm up what i have done is i have put an elastic band around my shins just to make myself learn that i have to open my hips basically squeeze turn my knees out on the floor and then hold at knee level and hold at the shin level the bar starting to engage all the muscles which are necessary to perform a deadlift trying to hinge and then hip thrust into a straight manner you would require this to do this about 8 to 10 times just to learn the range of movement i have also done the y raises as a warm up to ensure my upper back is ready for lifting the weight and my traps are a little bit warmed up doing the weight lift this also puts a little bit of work done on your mid back and lower back so a great way to start our warm up before we start lifting heavy weights now if you're someone who doesn't want to do the deadlifts because you're still not confident enough it's absolutely fine you can do lying down chest supported rows or without a support regular barbell rows or dumbbell rows that's absolutely fine if you are doing dumbbell rows, make sure you drive the dumbbells towards your hips. So that way you get maximum amount of elbow flare. If you are doing with a barbell row, try to always get it as high as possible. Push your elbows as far behind as possible. Now for deadlifts, what I have done is I chose to do 4 sets but go a bit heavy. Test my strength after a long time. So for the first set with just one weight which I am very confident of, I have done 8 to 10 repetitions and then for the second set I have gone with the weight which I have done last time 3 to 4 repetitions and again I have performed my 2 to 3 actually 3 to 4 repetitions if, for every repetition I made sure the weight drops down completely I re-grip and then lift it I still notice a little bit of hip raise I think that's because I am squatting a little bit too deep but I do not feel much on my lower back and my back was a bit worked up so it's good as long as the lift went well for my last two sets i have chosen to go one rep max now one rep max is basically the amount of weight you can lift for one repetition exactly it might be more than that but i chose to do just one rep with maximum weight i am confident of today here when lifting this particular weight there are chances if you are also doing a one rep max kind of a lift your form might break down very quickly so make sure your warm up is optimal before going into the lift two things which help me very well are the long track pants because my shins were not extremely painful after the lift and the straps which help me grip the bar a little bit easily for my last set I have just upped the weight by 2 kilos that's it I was already at my extreme potential maybe I could have gotten one more repetition out of it but that's enough for today because 
I did notice my hips raising a little bit quicker because I was not I was squatting actually too deep before going for the lift. I'll note this for the next time to squat just enough. So, but yes, I was pulling out the slack and then I was going for the lift and it went well. So that's it for our deadlifts. Now we move on to our lat pull downs. For lat pull downs, what I have done is I have done four sets of these about 10 to 12 repetitions with a good challenging weight. This time I leaned back a little bit so that my elbows come can come as close to my hips as possible and squeeze them back behind as tight as possible. Again, while doing this particular exercise, you might feel a lot of or at least somewhat the bicep activation when you're squeezing down because your elbows start bending and the weight starts shifting onto your biceps. That's okay but try to focus on driving your elbows behind and getting that lat squeeze four sets 10 to 12 repetitions challenging weight you can keep the weight same now after deadlift you might be a little bit tired so take up to two to three minutes of break before moving into this particular exercise in this exercise 60 seconds break is sufficient since it's an equipment based exercise you should be able to do it pretty easily and that's it for our second exercise just trying to get the last few reps out of me and once i was about to fail is when i stop for my next exercise i'm going to do straight bar bull curls now this is one of my favorite things to do for my biceps because i get a great amount of activation and i usually try to go with the long bar to get as much weight as possible now i've loaded just five kilos on it with the long bar I was able to get good few repetitions in the first set I just got 10 repetitions so I chose to add weight but once I added another 5 kilos that's 10 kilos on each side I started failing at 6th rep so I kept the same amount of weight for my third set got those heavy repetition set uh, repetition heavy repetitions and about 5 to 6 and for my fourth set again I dropped back to the 5 kilos now you can choose to just stick to one single weight and get the 10 to 12 repetitions or try to go heavy like I did and get those 5 to 6 repetition mark just to test your strength. Again, today I was in perfect confidence to test my heavy strength moving capacity. So I tried to move as heavy as possible, as efficiently as possible. Now for my next exercise, as you can see, I have already started with, I started doing donkey calf races. Now for the donkey calf races, today I chose to do a little bit of basically holds for 3 to 4 seconds at every position. Basically when we are squeezing up, when you are raising the calves up and then when you are dropping completely down. There are a couple of things which I have noticed I did not do in an optimal manner is when I am going down, I sometimes let my knees bend a little bit which is not optimal the moment i noticed it i started straightening out as much as possible make sure your knees always stay locked out to get the maximum amount of stretch and squeeze that way your calf will be doing the most amount of work the moment your knees bend a little bit like mine did there is a little bit of play area for your calf muscles so they are not being stretched or squeezed optimally hold every repetition for three to four seconds at every uh, contraction and stretch this would fire up your calf muscles very quickly and we need not know 20 to 25 repetitions maybe 12 to 15 but yes if you can do 20 repetitions awesome go for it but if you can't if you fail like me at 12 to 15 repetition mark just that's more than sufficient while holding it every repetition for three to four seconds so for my next exercise i move on to do shrugs for shrugs the concept is pretty simple i chose to do it on the smith machine because i don't have to worry much about the bar, move, the bar moving away and racking the weights etc try to hold the bar as wide as possible and the cue is pretty simple you want to touch your ears with your shoulders to get the maximum amount of squeeze on your upper traps load a good challenging amount of weight the reason why i was not using straps is i wanted to get a little bit of forearm grip work also done but you are absolutely free to use straps and gloves to make sure you get the number of repetitions 10 to 12 repetitions again 
but making sure that I give that second hold at the top position and a second hold at the stretched out position to get the maximum amount of contraction and stretches possible during the repetitions. Chest high and squeeze to touch your shoulders to your ears and then let the bar go completely down. Don't keep shrugging. Don't basically do a partial shrug. Shrug full, release completely, shrug full. 10 to 12 repetitions should be good enough, three sets and you should be good to go with your upper traps worked up. For my next exercise, I chose to do the basically the variation of hammer curls which is curling across your body, pronated grip. For this particular exercise, you just grab a couple of dumbbells and take the dumbbells across your body while your palms are facing down. Try to get at least 12 repetitions each hand. Choose a challenging weight. By now your biceps would be pretty worked up and you must be a bit tired. So take your time while shifting from one exercise to the other. In between the bicep exercises also you can choose to take a minute's break. But get those 12 repetitions in. That's what will get us the amount of blood flow which we prefer to get into our bicep muscles. I've done three sets of this, so every time, every repetition, make sure the dumbbell comes as close to your upper chest as possible to get the maximum amount of squeeze. Great exercise also for our forearm, the brachii muscle, because that's what is going to push the bicep out. As you can see, I, I started getting a little bit of vascularity, but I'm still not there in terms of body fat level. It's just that the body's way of losing fat, the body will prioritize where it will lose fat first and where it will lose fat last. We can't do much about it. It's just that we start or we keep pushing it uh, and your body will slowly start shedding off fat step by step manner in areas which it wants to do first, it will do it. So if my shoulders are the first areas where I lose most amount of fat, that's where it's going to do it. And then if my stomach is the area where it is going to be the last, that's where it's going to do in the last. Once I start dropping calories every uh, day and keep myself in a deficit in terms of nutrition, which I'm already doing. So for my next exercise, I'm going to do the oblique twist. By now I was completely exhausted. Yes, today's workout is a bit lengthy thanks to the amount of time it takes to load the deadlift bar. But otherwise, the other exercises, uh, the only reason you would take time to finish them is because you would be pretty tired if you had gone like me in your deadlifts near to your one rep maxes. But this is only the ones we have which we are going to do just to test our strength, see where we are standing. Later on, we would not be doing it or we will not be doing it pretty soon. Lifting heavy weights should only be done once in a while. Doing it regularly is counterproductive according to me for because it increases our recovery time. Now we are done with these exercises. We are going to do our static stretches. First starting off with our lat stretch, simple hold and twist, dropping your body weight and holding there for 15 to 20 seconds. Take a good height support and then start pulling yourself a little bit back and slowly twist onto one arm at a time and hold there. You should feel a good stretch coming just above your lower back to all the way to your tricep that's where the lat that's how the lat is connected and you should start feeling that stretch also traveling into your near to your spinal cord again that's where this lat connects so the muscles are attached in between these joints so we are stretching those points if you did like the video, please drop a like. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, I would definitely appreciate it. Subscribe. And if you have any kind of feedback, please drop it in the comments. I would respond to them all. After this lat stretch, you can straight away move into your bicep stretch. Again, at the height, hold on to the bar. If, if you want, you can shift your arm a little bit higher and then slowly move your shoulder away from your elbow joint, creating the stretch for the bicep. Pretty simple stretch. It's only that you just need to figure out a little bit of the angle while doing this. Might be different, but the cue is to just move your shoulder away from your elbow joint because those are the original insertions for your bicep muscle. 
both hands 15 to 20 second hold should be good enough if you do still feel a little bit of tightness in your lower back because you have done deadlifts you can also do the lower back stretches i felt absolutely fine and the upper back stretch which i have done also gave me a good amount of lower back stretch that's it for today thank you for joining me and i'll see you in the next video where we again push on our push strength <laughs>